Building command fail sometimes is a super headache for the CAD model before it get ready for the 3D printing. In this video, I'm going to talk about why the boiling command fail and how to fix it. Are you ready? Let's get started. Welcome back to PGA Chain Design. Today we are talking about why the Boolean command fell in the Rhino 3D and how to fix it. This first scenario right here that I have a ring, it's done by the sweep one rail. And then I simply just go into mirror that one to the other side. After that mirror it, and I'm simply just going to do the Boolean union. Unfortunately, the Boolean union fell. As you can see, I have a lot of mark there on the bottom and both of them are closed solid poly surface. It should work. However, in Rhino, if your seam is 100% overlapping, that may not work. So to solve this problem is quite easy. We are going to pick up this one. And with the gumball, I'm going to move 0.01 to the right and also move 0.01 to the top. By eyes, it's really hard to tell what is going on. There's nothing changed there. But now, if we want to do the bowling union, it will work perfectly. It's because we avoid the seam together. And by moving to the right, to the top a little bit, as you can see right here, it is shift a little bit. The second scenario that we have it often happen in the polar array. So every object has a seam and when all the seam coming into the one point then you might have the problem for the bowling and sometimes it is not the seam issue it may be just simply that your computer need to calculate everything at once so let's give it a try we want to do the bowling union and we hit enter and it say bowling union fell on our command bar but it doesn't give you any of the mark to show you where it fell okay so if that is the case maybe the computer cannot handle all of them at once so let's give it a try i'm going to bowling unit only two of them and then it seems working let me change it into the red color here i'm going to bowling union those and then it seems working as well so that's changing into the green color. If that is working for you, then I'm going to boiling unit every two small union first and boiling all of them together. So assume everybody is boiling two as a pair, and then I want to boiling this one and this one together. And it show boiling union fail again. So that is a point that we need to consider if the seam is aligned. And apparently in this case, they are. So to solve this is really similar with the first scenario solution. We want to move in this 0 0.01 out and 0 0.01 up. So it is not aligned anymore. So let's do the boiling union. Then this is how we get it work together. In this third scenario, it happened a lot too, is we are looking at a two shape here. Each of the shape, they both are the closed form. As you can see, it's a closed extrusion here, and it is a closed solid poly surface here. However, if I wanted to do the bowling union together, this one, this one, and you hit enter, it will say it is fell. And doesn't tell you where it is fell. Okay, so if I'm moving this one out a little bit and I try to do the bowling union here and here, it, it works. So what exactly the problem on this one? Let's go back one step and we want to take a look right here. As you can see, the shape is overlapping here. It happened a lot when you try to do the pipe. So let me hide in this one and delete this one. As you can see that the pipe diameter is too big for the turn over here. So let's take a look on how big is that turn. Apparently, the smaller this one is 0.37 here. So if I have a pipe is 0.37, that should work and it won't overlapping. So let's give you a try, 0.36. We just want to try one, the smallest uh, turn over there. And as you can see, it's no longer overlapping and bowling difference should work now. You may say, well, then I changed my design way too much. I do really want to have a bigger diameter here on the pipe. So we are going to pipe it again and do something a little bit bigger. But before you click to finish, you can coming over here at this point, 
click on that and adding additional um, cross section over there. Let's do 0.36 over here and hit enter. Then you can get it from the big to the small to the big. And after bowling there, it probably will maintain your design much better. So be careful. Do not want to have the shape to overlapping into itself. That usually cause a lot of a bowling issue. The last scenario it looks really simple, but it is a lot of a beginner uh, issue is you have the shape over here. It shows it's a closed so uh, surface. You have another shape over here. It say varies and group together. If we just go ahead to do the bowling union, this one and this one, it seems working, but at the same time, it gives you an open poly surface. So let's take a look on what's going on here. We have this is called vary and group and if we ungroup it and again this is a really common mistake for the beginner it's because the group and the join is really different two things i have here is an open poly surface and i have this one is a surface so use the join instead of a group and we want to join those together and then we will do the bowling however let's double check one more time this is say it's an open poly surface so still it is an open poly surface let's try bowling union it will let you work in the rhino six not so lucky in rhino five um, but however this is a still open poly surface which means when you go to print, this is not watertight. There's a leak somewhere, and I'm guessing it's right there. If it is too small and it's hard to see, you can use Analyze, and you have an H tool, and you want to show H. Click on that, and you will get that pink line there to show this is the naked edges over there. I will suggest to fix your naked edges before you do any shape of a bowling union or difference. So how we going to fix this one is I'm going to explode everybody. Apparently this was accidentally shift. So that's using the move command and we want to move from here to here, endpoint to the endpoint. So and then let's join everybody back. Double check on this one. This now is a closed solid polished surface. If we do the bowling union, this one and this one, and click on that, it will show it's a closed solid poly surface on our property. If you like to see how I solve the Rhino technical issue, there are a lot more video in the membership program. Hope to see you in the membership. Thank you for watching and see you next.